Well, FEMA's talking about uh, earthquakes possible in North California, and you know you don't think of it as much in North California as you do in Southern California, but actually the San Andreas Fault all goes all the way up through Northern California, and you notice a uh, seriously rugged country up there, and that rugged country did not come about by land just being in a stationary place. It was the Teutonic Plates moving in and under each other that created the Cascade Mountain Range and everything else that's inland. Um, now, this is not a fear-monger story, um, and I don't know, I'm trying to actually read between the lines on some of this stuff because it was actually, the story elaborately appeared in The New Yorker. It also appeared in other publications and blogs about you know a possible huge earthquake of 9.0 or greater occurring in um, Northern California that would com- uh, create complete des- devastation. Now, it's not the ordinary uh, fear-mongering, yeah, the big one's going to occur someday. It's not that type of thing. Uh, it's a lot of things that have just occurred recently or just been discovered recently let's say in the last 10 or 20 years but you know sometimes and you know i don't know this i'm not going to make an association or anything like that but then again we hear about you know jade helm is going on and and all this kind of stuff if maybe there's something that's going to happen and maybe that's why jade helm is around i don't know i mean it's pure speculation on my part i'm going to tell you that okay i'm not going to play any drama music here in the background and say blah 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 and but what I'm going to give you is the reality of the situation. Um, they have discovered and they have determined that there was this really, really huge earthquake in Northern California around 1700 to 1701. Um, what occurred during that time, though, was there was a rapid fall of the land and it caused seawater to flood the trees, seawater to actually go way inland, um, destroy everything in its path. It basically liquefied the ground. It turned the roads into, you know, this is this is actually a picture of the Japanese earthquake and tsunami, but this is what you would expect, sim- something similar in Northern California if this happens. Now, it's not as a remote possibility as you think, and I'm going to get into that, Uh, why Um, but according to Indian legends now this happened before you know California was major uh, was largely settled in like the 1800s and later on or it became uh, you know quite an agricultural and industrial powerhouse import and export of goods throughout the world and you know there wasn't much there but it was the Indians were there they said those who survived of the Indians that survived uh, in a region in Northern California and Oregon and Washington State, um, they later found when it came back in, they found canoes hanging from the trees. So, you're talking about water that's in you know very 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 deep. Now, um, they're putting this around 1701. It wouldn't happen, but they do know that. From a lot of geological work that's been done in the past, that the Pacific Northwest has experienced 41 major earthquakes, major, I mean major ones, in the past 10,000 years. So if you divide the 10,000 by 41, you get an average of 243 years. Now, the thing is, that puts, since the last one, major, major one happened in the North. Northern California, Oregon, and Washington State area, like around Seattle and all that, um, it was around 1700. That puts it over 70, 70 years past the average mean date of when these reoccur. And, you know, I just pointed to another map before this, whereby, you know, this, this shows in, in the uh, Ring of Fire, the only place that has not had an experienced major earthquake in the last 50 years has been in Northern California, along Oregon, and Washington State. So it's not something, 
But then again, you know, I don't know if it's going to happen next week, next year, five years from now, ten years from now, but it's something to really, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It's it's not out of it's not from the realm of fiction. Um, some articles go into it a lot deeper, but basically, this information really came from FEMA, uh, and you know, their information came from the best geologists in the world. So, they're which way overdue on the on the uh, on the two hundred forty three year cycle, and the first sign that a, a Cascadian earthquake will begin, um, you might feel one. Jolt, but then you'll see um, signs from the animals. The animals will know what's going on. And what they say is to do is, if you see something like this happening, you think an earthquake's about going to happen, and the signs are from the dogs, the cats are saying what's going on. You know, they they know they know what's going on. They're better earth. They have more sensitive earthquake equipment detection inc- uh, equipment within them than man has. You know, mankind has. They said what to do is not to take to the roadways, but actually to run, run to the highest ground. Because what will happen is the, the roadways will become destroyed, liquefied, you won't be able to move. And the thing is, you just want to go straight to the high ground because the ground is going to fall down in and water is going to come in and then it's going to rush back over that ground again. Uh, there's going to be massive destruction. There, the FEMA is actually estimating that there'll be 13,000 people that will die in an earthquake of this magnitude that had actually occurred back in 1700 or 1701. But they occur regularly every 243 years, which like we're way overdue for one right now, um, s- for the last 10,000 years. So it's not a garbage hypothesis or fear-mongering or anything like that. It'll create a tsunami. It'll also create um, you know, landslides, destruction of bridges, roads, schools, everything. The whole nine yards, everything. Communications, the whole thing. And, uh, you know, one of the things that, you know, I don't know if a lot of people know about is they call it the uh, ghost forest up in, uh, I think it's Oregon. And... A lot of times people don't realize, you know, well, they, nobody realized how this came about. They thought it was a slow process. They knew the trees died from seawater. But what happened was it was actually a sudden event. A sudden event that actually caused the trees to die from seawater because the seawater came in quickly due to a tsunami and the earth falling down deep and then rising back up again. And, you know, the water's washed in, then they washed out. So, like, you know, the Indian tale said, like, there was um, canoes found in the tops of the trees. So, you know, when this happens, though, it's going to actually create a situation where there's going to be millions of people displaced. There's going to be millions of people that need food and water. Um, Probably a lot more casualties than the 13,000 because... Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of other things that happen due to like medical treatment that's needed. There's a lot of elderly in the area, uh, and FEMA states, and this is verbatim, our operating assumption is that everything west of Interstate Five will be toast. So, if you want to know what west of Interstate Five, this line right here is Interstate Five. I'm looking at Northern California. That's all, that's a large, you're talking about mm, 60, 60 miles, 50 to 80 miles, depending on where 5 is. You know, so basically a good 50 miles in from the coast is going to be toast. Everything, everything. And, you know, if you look at this map, like I guess in a terrain map, it'll look, it'll look a little more obvious because... Um, you know, a lot of this rugged country didn't come about because of, really came about because of massive shifts underneath the earth. I mean, that's where all these vast mountain ranges came from, the Sierra Nevada and all that, and uh, the Cascades and uh, the Cascade Range. Um, it didn't come about because of, you know, a, a very benign geological movement 
No, it came about due to very strong, abrupt geological movements that occurred probably maybe millions of years ago. But in the last 10,000 years, we know with fairly good regularity that about every 243 years, there's like a 9.0 or greater earthquake in this region. So, like I said, I showed you the last 50 years, nothing happened. Well, actually, the last really, really big earthquake that happened in Northern California where it was that great was in 1700 or 1701. So that's the best they can pinpoint it. And uh, this is basically something I could say that is not um, one of those conspiracy theories, but then again, it might not happen for several years or 15 years. I don't know. But if you want to speculate a little bit down a conspiracy rabbit trail, a rabbit hole, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, maybe some of these preparations with Jane Helm have something to do with this. I know sometimes people are thinking it's for this reason or that reason or whatever it is. Maybe it has something to do with this. I don't know. I don't know. But um, it is not one of those fear-mongering things. It's, um, it is hard science. They know that these have occurred every with regularity. I'm saying it again, but just it does bear repeating because, you know, 10,000 years they've had uh, 41 of these major quakes over 9-0. And they do know, they can tell that they're over 9-0 because, you know, part of it is due to the ghost forest. And they also have other geological records they look into. And I've read, you know, a lot of articles on this to just get a gist of what was going on. And I'm just boiling it down to the essence right now in this video. But it's not a garbage science or it's not fear-mongering or anything like that. Um, and it would be a very, very terrible occurrence because there is a hell of a lot of population on the California coast, especially Northern California. And, you know, considering it's a tech valley and all is in the area, and I don't know, it's, it would destroy all the bridges, everything, everything. I don't know if this is going to happen or not, but, you know, in my opinion is if they need to stimulate the economy, you know, the government, um, the best way to stimulate the economy is to prepare for a situation like this. Um, whereas maybe it's not going to be needed for 50 years. Maybe it's not going to be needed for, maybe, maybe it could be next year, or three months down the road. I don't know. I don't know. Nobody does. Uh, and if you think maybe the government knows, that's why Jaden Jaden Helm is going on right now. And they're suspecting something's going to happen. You know, maybe, maybe, I mean, they're kind of dropping some hints in the major media and, also through FEMA, that this is a very dangerous situation that could possibly happen. And it's not fear-mongering because everything is based upon, you know, the regular cycle that happens. Um, they did not know, like if you would have went back 50 years, they would have, 40 years even, 30, well, it seemed to me about 30 years they were starting to put the piece together. But if you would have went back 50 years, they would have had no clue that, something like this happened in 1700-1701 and that they happened with, you know, fair amount of regularity over the last 10,000 years. A lot of this information came recently and it was pieced together with other things, other events that happened along this ring of fire where the major earthquakes occur in the Pacific Basin. So... I mean, I don't want to put this out as a fear. Mo I don't live in California, and, uh, I mean, there's always something wrong no matter where the hell you are. Um, so, but I, I think if I was living in California, and I knew this, um, I would be thinking about moving out. Because this isn't one of those things that I consider um, a remote possibility. It's a matter of when. Unless I was farther inland California about it you know, 120, 100 miles or something. But, you know, it seems like the coastal California is really going to get a major problem. It's not It's not a conspiracy theory. It's just a matter of when. And considering the way they got things going in California, and it just everywhere in the United States, the infrastructure on our roads is subpar. You know, especially... Well, California actually is one of the states where it's one that has one of the worst roadway infrastructure maintenance going. 
uh, Illinois, um, uh, New Jersey. I think Wisconsin was on top. Was one of the ones on top too. Um, but you know, if we need to actually freaking spend some money, and you know, instead of this trouble asset, you know, uh, program TARP with shoring up Warren Buffett's account with four hundred billion dollars or something like that, we need to. Spend Spend the money on infrastructure in California to make things as earthquake as proof as possible, and you know to have um, maybe emergency shelters already set up or emergency water already set up and educate people that this is a possibility. But actually, if I was living in California, either I would go inland more or I would move out of the state. But I probably, if I like California, look, California's got every little. There's so many different things in state. You can go, you know, take, you know, if, <laughs> if you don't like one part of the state, just go to another part of the state. It's got everything into one state. So I would probably just go inland, but uh, that might be a smart thing to do if you're up there in Northern California is to move inland about another good 50 miles or so because, um, you know, according to FEMA, you know, everything, everything west of five from the ocean all the way to five is going to be screwed up in northern california now like when you go down south you know five is right next to the coast right i mean i was always familiar with that you know around la and south of la five is right next to the coast but they're talking about northern california not southern california and i always thought actually i was in california i think it was in 93 when they had the earthquake in la i felt that thing that was pretty wild man i was like that was shaking pretty good, baby. <laughs> I was there. Uh, but uh, I could say that, you know, considering they're talking Northern California and all this distance from the ocean to uh, Route 5 being totally, totally toast, according to the words by FEMA, uh, you're talking about an area of about 60 miles inland because it's not just a tsunami. But the land itself is going to drop suddenly, and it's going to allow the water to come in, and then it's going to allow the water to rush out. It's going to destroy everything, not just by tsunami, but also by a 9.0 earthquake. Not a joke, baby. Not a joke. Not at all. Um, probably head, head up to the hills where it's uh, way up here, man, like up here in the Sierra Nevada who knows, man? I don't think any place in the world is safe, but it's not good to be a worry wart. But I have to tell you, man, this is these trees, when they talk about the ghost forest up in Oregon, these trees did not get like this due to a slow phenomenon. What happened was it was due to a sudden, fast rushing in of seawater where the canoes were stuck up on the top of the trees. These trees were killed suddenly. So when it happens, you're not going to have any warning. So, I mean, I mean, the best thing I could say now is if you see the cats and dogs doing, you know, going all spastic after you feel a jolt, a jolt maybe it's time to right then and there head to high ground because uh, you're not going to have time to uh, jump in your car and drive someplace because the roads are going to get destroyed. So, um don't want to put this out as a doom and gloom video. It is a reality video. It's not meant to f it scare people. Um, but uh, I don't know. I don't live in California. But if I, like I said, if I was, I'd, I would definitely at least move much further inland. 